Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on June 24th, 2021, and welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, space weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours on the sun, on 304 angstroms, bright sunspot region, top left there, looking at the incoming images here. You can see a couple spots have developed in the southern region as well. Close look at that solar flare from yesterday. Looking at outgoing images here, large plasma rope just behind that sunspot there. You can see it whipping across the, pl across the sun there. Let's hope that stays in position. Another close look here at the incoming sunspot. And it is a very large one. Hopefully it's already done. A couple of close look looks here at the southern region as well. Multi-spectrum here. You can see all of the events on the sun. No earth-facing coronal holes. No current facing sunspots but we do have plasma ropes that are extending across the sun right now so as i said let's hope they hold together and not try to connect to the other ones cresting so looking at iswa here this is from the event yesterday the solar flare and that was right at stereo a and as well mars so not an Earth-facing event, but we will see some effects if we are not seeing them already. Geomagnetic activity is slightly raised today. NOAA putting out its space prediction spiral as well. So you can see there we are being affected 26th to the 28th of June. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 344 kilometers per second. We did see it spike to about 380 kilometers per second today, and that was after a big triangle flip-flop here. And that was about four to six hours ago. That just happened. And you can see a dramatic change in telemetry as of all wind speeds, density, and temperature. So Schumann Resonance for today, looking at a power of 54, 36, 36, 54, whatever that means. So amplitude of 54 and a quality of 7. Looking at earthquakes the last 24 hours. And it, it's been somewhat busy, just over 250 earthquakes the last 24 hours, according to USGS, and that is including all magnitudes just going to look here most recent the 5.3 the Kermadec Islands and as well a pretty deep earthquake just north of that in Fiji so 5.3 at 180 kilometer depth and then shortly thereafter it did have a 4.4 or sorry the 4.6 at 449 kilometer depth. That's the most recent earthquake reported. As well, we had that 589 kilometer depth yesterday. Increased activity around Bagana and the volcanoes through Papua New Guinea. 5.4, 4.6. As well, the largest the last 24 hours, 5.7 Indonesia and as well, a 5.4 Indonesia. 5.1 rare earthquake here. Cable Beach, Australia, off the coast of the northwestern continent. One lonely earthquake to report here, 81 kilometer depth, 44.4 in Japan. As well, a 5.2 reported here, Marianas Trench, 4.4 Kirill Islands. 180 kilometer depth, quiet through Alaska, no major quakes to report there. 
Largest last 24 hours here in Hawaii, 3.0 at a 32 kilometer depth, 3.6 reported yesterday. And then we get to United States and seeing continuing earthquakes through the Mexico, Texas border, White City, New Mexico. As well, minor rumbles through California, but no major swarms to talk about today. And the only eastward earthquake into the New Madrid there, Eastboro, Kansas, 2.5. And northward there, 2.7 into Idaho. Central America here, 4.7, Guatemala. And then we get to the Caribbean plate where, wow, I think we got a little bit of a swarm here happening as well. So a small swarm is happening right now here in Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Seeing about 16 earthquakes there today. South America, 4.5, Tarapaca, Chile. And as well, a 4.3 there in Pacto, Argentina. 5.1 here to report, East Pacific rise. Quiet through the African plate. And then a 1 or 5.1 here to report in Cherikan, Afghanistan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days. And deep earthquakes and fours seem to be the theme for this last week or so. We've been in a yellow phase, color-coded, but deep as well through Indonesia, Philippines Plate, up into Eurasia, straight-lined out to the Caribbean. Unusually quiet through South America. And a growing quiet here through Alaska and into Russia. So heads up, we did just have a couple pretty deep earthquakes, Fiji. We can always expect a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Now before we get to the five-day forecast, I wanted to show you here, Windy. This is Tropical Storm Champy coming out of the Pacific Ocean and watch as it races into the Aleutian Islands here in the forecast and just joining forces with huge low pressure systems. Same thing is happening in the Atlantic over the next seven days there, large low pressure system in the center of the Atlantic joining forces. And then compared to the Southern hemisphere, wow, we've got, uh, it kind of looks like we got some serious issues happening here with our jet stream. And it is amplifying with these low pressure systems and highs across the planet. And as well, our magnetic field is reacting with these systems as well. And we're seeing it's electrifying. And we're seeing the storms continue across the northern hemisphere as the intertropical convergence is happening. We're seeing tornado warnings through Iowa today and as well Kansas, even New England, state of New, Ze New England, England. And most likely through both Dakotas tonight as the storms move eastward. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes update. Reventador in Ecuador, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Merapi, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Etna in Italy, as noted in the volcanic activity report today. And as well, many floods and storm warnings across the northern hemisphere as i was talking about if you want to check out the pacific disaster center get this app download it and you will be upload updated to all of these events so we do have one tropical storm to talk about tropical storm champy which will be joining that atmospheric river coming out of china and then will be racing into the Aleutian islands joining forces with all the lows there continuing hot and dry situation across western United States and central plains. Little bits of moisture here from daily evaporation, but there's really not much left to melt off of the Sierra Nevadas. So stay safe, aware and prepared, and thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who is being affected by this major heat wave. I know Canadians are feeling it and so are a lot of people across the planet. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike,
daily events worldwide starting out here, Calgary, Alberta, as yet we are being warned of an extreme heat wave next week. But look how far these temps are going to be reaching up into almost the 30s in parts of Alaska and the Yukon. Interesting, interesting situation across the planet. Nonetheless, it's going to be dry across the West and watch low pressure systems to just bring waves of moisture eastward and small low pressure system here developing through the United States. It's going to bring some extreme weather and as well some interesting windy weather for Newfoundland in the long range as that center of the low races towards you into the Atlantic Ocean. So it just seems that things are rapidly increasing speeds, intensity, size, everything across the planet right now. No tropical systems to talk about in the Gulf. One tropical depression here is not named yet, but will be in the next couple of days. We'll see where it goes in the long range forecast. It, head, it could head straight across Mexico, just like the last one. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains. Somebody asked yesterday, what is daily evaporation rains? Well, pretty much it rains every day in South America due to daily evaporation. So there are rainforests and sun comes up and evaporates the moisture on the ground and falls back as rain. Overlooking parts of Argentina and northern parts of Chile and Peru. Very cold temperatures moving in. Strong, high pushing those cold temperatures from Antarctica. Overlooking Africa, as I was talking, extreme heat is affecting Africa as well and eastward into Iraq and Iran this week, parts of northern India. But even Europe is going to be feeling the heat wave this week after this low-pressure system leaves. Looking at one low-pressure system getting ready to move eastward, northeastward, and another Low pressure system here heading in off the coast of northern Spain. Could see some extreme weather here, parts of northern and eastern Europe. With that system developing. But dry, no other major systems to talk about through Africa. Nor through the West Indies. But yeah, it's the heat that we're talking about. Almost 50 degrees parts of northern Iran, Iraq, and as well northern India. Low pressure system looks like it's finally going to leave parts of Nepal and Myanmar. It kind of looks like it's trapped on top of the plateau there. But still, it's producing a long line of moisture here heading out into the Pacific. The rain continues through parts of Myanmar this week and western regions of Thailand and as well western coast of India. Overlooking Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rains through the region. Looking at a forecast here for Tropical Storm Champi. Australia, you've got a nice high pressure ridge moving in here. At least it's going to keep things dry for parts of southeastern Australia and parts of western continent. Could see some rain here, southwestern Perth area with that low pressure system bringing in some waves of moisture. And then interesting weather here for the next five days. Great days ahead of you yet again for parts of New Zealand and most of New Zealand actually. Long line of moisture here and a low pressure system. Overlooking the Pacific, big high pressure ridge moving in and most likely will fizzle this tropical depression if it tries to head westward. So if it goes eastward, it's going to gain. If it heads west westward, most likely will fizzle. But it's the interesting huge low pressure systems that are spinning across our planet right now. I'll leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern i'm so happy that you are all following along this epic journey and i appreciate you tuning in tonight 
Don't forget to smash that like button. Maybe share it with a friend and a family member. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world